Welcome to the State of Mind Virtual Speaker Series. This series has been developed to provide education and support to youth, caregivers, and educators during this challenging time. This series is a collaboration between two local nonprofits, One in Five and MindPeace, and various community mental health partners. We're glad you're here to educate yourself and to learn how to keep your brain in a healthy state of mind. Hello everyone, my name is Tanya Ficklin and I'm a school counselor who serves grades 11 through 12. And I'm Becky Junwick and I'm a school counselor and I serve grades 7 through 9. Today we are going to talk about how do school counselors support students within the school setting. What is a school counselor? The school counselor's role is to help all students improve not only their academic and career prospects, but also their social and emotional development. Many people are familiar with the term guidance counselor. However, a guidance counselor is not the same as a school counselor. A guidance counselor focused on vocational guidance, whereas a school counselor focuses on social, emotional, academic, college, career development. A guidance counselor worked in isolation, whereas school counselors work in collaboration with teachers, administrators, parents, outside agencies, and other stakeholders. As a guidance counselor, they did not have set standards for practice, whereas school counselors, we work in conjunction with the American School Counselor Association, who has set up counseling guidelines. Guidance counselor worked mostly at the high school level and only with some students, whereas school counselors, we are educators who are trained to work with all students, grades K through 12. Okay, so we want to talk just a little bit about how school counselors support mental health. And a question that is sometimes uh, posed to us is, do school counselors do therapy? The answer to that is no, we do not do therapy. School counselors are not therapists or mental health counselors. However, we can support student mental health um, and we do that by identifying characteristics of common mental health disorders. We can identify risk factors that may be present as well as warning signs of possible mental health issues and behavioral disorders. School counselors possess the skills to critically examine the correlation between social and emotional health and academic achievement. And once we've examined that correlation, then we can use that information to support students so that they can be successful within the school setting. So what does that look like? How do we deliver these services? Um, we build rapport with students. We focus a lot on building relationships and we do this through individual student meetings, classroom visits, as well as just interaction with the students in the general environment of the school. Also, we collaborate with stakeholders, as Tanya mentioned before. Um, that way we can build programming that supports the whole school's miss mission. These stakeholders include teachers, partnering agencies, parents, students, as well as administration. And then finally, we can make referrals when necessary. So when we identify those characteristics that may be risk factors for mental health disorders, um, we can make referrals to outside agencies if we think that a student does need therapy or outside mental health services. What are some of the other types of support? Academic advising. So we definitely uh, guide students as to what classes they may want to take based upon what fields they may want to go into or what jobs they're looking for in the future. We can also um, help students in their college and career exploration as well as planning for colleges um, and what career path they might choose. And again, that goes back to the academic advising. Then once we establish those things, um, we look at what, what needs they have academically. We also offer academic intervention and assistance for students who are struggling. We provide counseling for attendance intervention, discipline issues also. So students who are struggling with attendance and or discipline, we are a resource to help find out what's causing it and put interventions in place to hopefully uh, stop it. 
So another thing that we do is just interpreting student records. If we have new students coming in or students coming from other placements, we can interpret the records, um, not necessarily maintain them, but definitely use them to help guide the student academically. And then also consulting with teachers and other support staff as they are supporting our students in the building. We also advocate for students in areas of their school experience and sometimes even outside of their school experience. So as students have certain needs, school counselors will advocate in order to bring programs in that will assist with those needs, as well as advocating uh, with certain classes that they may, may need or resources that they may need. And last but not least, we analyze the data to build programming to support the school. So we look at what the needs are of our students based upon data. And from that data, we collaborate with administration and outside agencies to bring in programs that will support the needs of all of our students. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen and learn about what school counselors have to offer and how we support mental health and mental wellness within the schools. A special thank you to our State of Mind speakers and to you for joining us. More videos and educational resources can be found at One in Five's website. If you feel like you or your child is in need of professional support, therapists are available. Please refer to Mind Pieces school-based or community resource page. For a mental health crisis or emergencies, patients and families are encouraged to contact their current mental health provider first. This allows the mental health provider who knows your child best to provide support and direction. If your child does not have a mental health provider and they are experiencing a non-life-threatening mental health crisis, you are encouraged to contact the Psychiatric Intake Response Center at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. 513-636-4124. Call 911 or go to the emergency department if you are experiencing a medical emergency, a life-threatening mental health crisis, or are directed to go there by a medical provider. This will help limit the spread of COVID-19 in our community and allow our emergency departments to care for patients with the most critical needs first.